Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Well, it looks like we had an El Camino up here. It's made a quick turn. It didn't look like he used a turn signal either. I'm going to try and catch up to him here and see what's going on. Just made another quick turn on the 106th here. And looks like he's running this stop sign here onto the avenue. <laughs> Three seven one county. Got one taken off southbound on the avenue. It's just a green El Camino right now. I don't have a plate. Where on the avenue? We're just past 108 right now. That's what he's sticking out. He's waiting at 108. Yeah, go ahead and call. He's just stuck something out the window. I don't know what it was. He's sticking something out. No, oh, shots fired, shots fired. Shots fired, shots fired. Location. He's still passing 104. Shots fired for vehicle northbound. See attack in 104, 257. We had several shots fired. 370 again. Coming up on 96. Uh, we're going to continue on Yakima on Park Street there, Park. Northbound 96 with C. Charles. More shots fired, 257. We're going to go back eastbound on 96. Eastbound 96. Another shot fired, driver's firing shots. Another shot fired, driver's firing shots, 258. He's down 96 from the Avenue 258. He's 80, no traffic. He's 80, no traffic, 258. 104, 37. Southbound, passing 100 seconds. Southbound, passing 100 seconds, 259. Seven stop traffic on the call. Okay, seven stopping traffic at 112, 259. Road coming on, going on oncoming lane. Drift your on oncoming lane, straight clock. Still holding the gun up to his head. If I get a chance, I'm going to go ahead and pit him or take him out here. 46, copy. Traffic, oh, we're at 50 now. I just think he threw something out the window. I don't know what it was. It might have been the handgun. We're approaching the street. Approaching A Adam, career one. We just tried to take out a car coming off the way. We're going to continue on 121st towards Adam. Attempting to take out oncoming vehicles, continuing towards the Avenue 301. Northbound Pacific from 121st 301. Hit the patrol cars now, I just tried to hit a trooper or 
of traffic on Pacific Avenue. Delta emptying to head on coming traffic on Pacific 302. 371, count any permission to take this guy out. Westbound 106, we're back in the air, back in the box. Westbound 106 at the Avenue, captain the pit, 302. I'm out of it. Yeah, can pull out behind the canine, pull it. So some kid doesn't find it. Oh, I don't have. I. You want some kid to find that gun and hurt himself so you get charged with another crime? You don't really care, do you? Well, I saw that rag over the steering column there. You lift it up and the steering column's cracked open. So running the registration, it comes back to the suspect. But then I ran the VIN, and the VIN comes back as a Bonnie Lake stolen. So what he did is he put his own plates on this stolen car since he owned a El Camino. Yeah. And, I, and I've stopped him in, the, in his El Camino three or four times. Um, I mean, he never shot at me those times. Uh, luckily, he, he wasn't that good of a shot. There's a, a tenant that works down here at one of the gas stations, real helpful to us. He always calls us up when there's suspicious activity, and he's had some problems with with some car prowls in the back of their lot from their tow company. So I'm going to swing in here and check with them real quick, make sure there's no problems. We like to stop in here regularly. What's up, Radar? Hey, Dan. Got any, got any new tricks? Oh, of course. Come on back. <laughs> Got a real quick one here. I got two clown noses. Okay. I want you to go ahead and pick a nose. Uh, that nose. Okay. We're gonna take the nose you picked. Okay. Place it in this hand. Okay. I want you to hold on to this nose. Okay. Hold on tight. Say go. Go. Gone. Okay. Open your hands. Hey, how about uh, that? Got both clown noses there. Good job, me. buddy. Hey, you got anybody going through your back lot anymore? No, Any no, problems no. with car prowls or anything? Been clear. Uh, good deal. Well, I gotta call. I gotta get out of here. Just want to see if everything is okay. Okay. Thanks. All take please. it easy. Take care. Be careful.
Right now we're on our way to a noise complaint in the southern area of Lakewood, a little area called Woodbrook, which is across the freeway from Tillicum. Some neighbors called in. Sounds like a juvenile party going on in one of the apartments. They're just a little concerned that there might be some underage drinking. And, but before we do that, looks like a lot of smoke coming out of the place over here. I'm going to go check it out real quick. I'm back to set and shut down the street. See if we got everybody out of there okay. You guys, that's not going to work, man. Back off. We're just trying to get it from going around this part. The fire department's on the way. Is everybody out of that apartment? Yeah. What about the one behind it? Go bang on the door. Make sure everybody's out. Is everybody out of this apartment? What? What? Of this apartment that's on fire? Is anybody inside? No, I checked in there. I, got, I saw... I, I saw the bedroom. Yeah. They said somebody might be in the bathroom? I uh, know. Nobody was in the bathroom. Okay, get out of here. Is everybody out of that apartment? Is everybody out of that apartment? Get out of the way then. Go around the corner. 320 County. Tell fire to hurry up. There might be somebody inside. Get back. Get that fire extinguisher out of there. Get back. Back up. Keep going. I was just trying to keep, yes, okay, keep going. You're not going to stop it with that. Ma'am, ma'am, you need to get out of here. Grab your baby and get out of here. Where's my apartment? I'm over here. I, I would get out of here just in case. I, sir, you need to get out of here right now. Are you the only one in here? Grab your, now hurry up. That fire is big. Your neighboring apartment is totally engulfed, so grab your dogs and get out of here. daughter's in the bedroom there. Which bedroom? In the bedroom. The only bedroom here. Who's in here? Yeah. There's nobody in here. <laughs> Sir, there's nobody in this bedroom. Is there somebody in this? Your daughter or something? No. Go ahead. Anyone else in there? Ma'am, come on. The cats and stuff will get out. They'll get out. Let's go. Their cat ran outside. Out, out. Get out of here. Is there anybody else in here? Let's go, let's go. Out of there. Sir, you need to go now. Ma'am. I will drag you out of here if I have to. Get out. Covers the front bedroom door. We have nobody inside the apartment. What? We might have some kids in here. Which one? We need a firefighter. The last one. The last one on the No, I went in that one. I've been in. She came back in. What? You guys need to get out of here. 23, 23. Ouch! Ouch! Oh, damn, that hurt. Oh. Is there a backup? Oh, cat ran back into the apartment. The lady's going crazy. I want to make sure she didn't run in after it, so I grabbed it. Ma'am, let's go. Out now. 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 Just get out of the apartment. It's not on fire. You can go back in later. Just get out now. I'm missing all time or patient from Cosmore. Oh. 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 Who lives in this apartment? Who lives in this apartment, right? Nobody? Oh. Yeah, it's, it's pretty deep. I had the cat by the back. And I went to pull her up and I spun around and it just the teeth and claws right into me. And I figured, well, it's just going to have to hurt for a while because i got to get out of the apartment. He was in me with both claws and teeth. 
I couldn't get him off me. I got to the door and I had to get out because I couldn't breathe. So I just had to go like that. I figured he'd let go if I did laugh. He hit the bush. At least he's okay. And I figured, well, it's just going to have to hurt for a while because I got to get out of the apartment. In my off time, I do a lot of physical activity. I play ice hockey. I've played hockey since I was a little kid. And even though there's not ice around here during the wintertime, I still try and get out to a rink and play. I like bike riding, lift weights, running, uh, activities with my family, uh, going out to the movies and just generally being lazy at home when I'm not working, try and get away from work best I can and leave it alone, leave it behind. Subject was hit by a white minivan and possibly a can van involved in the area. Now the white minivan is directly in the complex with white melon. Right now we're in, in route to a fight with multiple subjects and radio just advised that one of the subjects has been struck by a minivan that's attempting to le leave the scene. That's all we have right now. We're about 30 seconds out. We're going to assist at the scene here. Is this the guy that got hit? Naomi! Yeah. Start talking, this per person, please! I'm fine through the air! White, full-size minivan. Uh, full-size van? Let's say a full-size. Chevy, Ford, do you know? No, I can't say. I can't say? What, was he white male driver? Oh, uh, uh, I would say white. Did you see Um... Five nine, five, five foot five, nine, ten. Okay. Now he 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 lives around here. Which I don't know where he, he I don't know where this guy come from. He comes over here next door all the time, and he, he comes in next door all the time. And he was driving reckless, so you came out to ask him what was going he come on. He comes barreling through here. Okay. And probably see tracks and come barreling through here, and I come out just the same time I'm walking the dog, and he says that. He has the right here in Greeting One. He's looking for somebody next door. The girl jumped out saying he was just just talking to somebody next door, just wanted to talk to somebody next door. I'm going, well, don't barrel through here. And then he just said, I'll show you what's for. And you bring your dog out to get me. And I'm like, I'm not bringing my dog out to get you. You're barreling through here. I'm walking my dog. You're at the same time. Okay. He's nervous. You're nervous. And he, then he just, I'll show you. And he just got in his car on purpose and backed up and hit me. Okay, you, you were standing where when you got Right here. there. Okay, so you were standing here in your yard, and he backed in. He came right at me. She screamed. She was on the phone with you guys. She screamed. She said, look out, and I ducked, and this is what happened. Okay. Did it have? Did the van have any design on it? Can you describe this guy at all? White, black? White guy. White guy? How how tall? Uh, we're a little taller than Eric. Or maybe, maybe like around 5'10 or so. How much do you think he weighed? Uh, Gosh, he's just a little wiry looking guy. Wiry? So skinny? Yeah, just kind of a little scrawny guy. Okay. He floored it, tires squealed, and he came right at my husband. He was standing right here, and he flew backwards. Okay. And then came back around again. And on out. 393, can I get registration, please, on 218? Might be involved in a hit and run. The plate? I'm running it right now. Oh, that's awesome. Beautiful. That's not your guy's license plate, is it? Hey, Monty. Yeah. There's a plate embedded in the... In the Holy... I'm running it right now. Do you know how much I've spent to do this stuff? His license plate. Here they come. I'll, I'll spotlight him and see. Do you guys want to come? I'll go spotlight him for you if you want to take a look and tell me if it's the right guy. Is this, is, is this the guy? I want, I, mean, I want him so bad. Okay, relax, big guy. What we needed to do is not get all out of control. We're going to have, have you take a look at him. And if that's him, just let us know, okay? This is so sucky. Do you know how much fun this if you want to go this way, we can go this yeah, we way. Go this way. You right. have the right to remain silent. Thank you. Anything you say Thank can and will be it's used the first against time you right there in my life. Thank you. You have the right at this time to speak to an attorney and yeah. have him present. We have the first time you right there in my life. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, yeah. one will be appointed for any questioning. Anthony, do you understand these no, rights I've no, explained to you? 
No okay, idea. well, I don't know how else to explain it. Can you see if you, you can, can find a phone number for that? All right. okay. what? I want talking. you to stand right here. You. you need to stand right there and I'm not move. Here, you man. understand? Hit me. Hit I'm not going to hit you. Go I want ahead. you to stand Go still. Ahead. Yes, sir, that's the man. That is the guy. All right, we got a positive ID. You haven't given me anything. Why you should I give you something? Either. You haven't given us anything Let's from go. the time we stopped you. I just right. patted him down. I didn't actually search right. him. So you oh, might go okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Am I under arrest? You are under arrest, sir. For what? Back up. I told you that. Okay. A what? What am I under arrest for? You're lucky you didn't kill that guy. Okay, I'll just tell you that right now. Yeah, I'm lucky I didn't kill that guy. Lucky you didn't kill that guy. Okay. I'm lucky I didn't kill that guy. Yeah, instead of assaulting me, maybe he's going to have Screw it. Prove it? We can prove That's it. That's our job. Because yeah. you know why? Prove we it got there. two witnesses. Yeah, prove it. Then yeah, prove it. They're saying that you're behind Thank the wheel. You. Prove it then. Show me I was behind we the wheel. Because you know what? You're wrong. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You're the one that's wrong. Get yeah, you're wrong. Yeah, you're wrong. Yeah, you're wrong. The girl will drive. Behave yourself now. The girl is driving. I'm still waiting on the registration and getting the phone number of the registered owner of the vehicle. It comes back to an 89 Dodge Caravan, so. It's not the full cargo van like I thought it was originally, but it's still a van. So we're waiting just to find out the color of it and get the phone number so we can call them and find out who was who had the vehicle. He's acting funny from the time we stopped him. No one else was around him. No one else. Absolutely around. no one. Well, he admits to being there but not driving, but we have multiple independent witnesses that put him behind the wheel. So that was a good deal. That license plate does not lie. Leaving the license plate behind is a bad thing. Yeah. It's like leaving your business card behind. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. He's taking off on me. I'm trying to catch up to a white Chevy pickup truck that I think is on our hot sheet. Stolen hot sheet. Got away from us there for a minute. Yeah, I think this is it right here. I took out a telephone pole. Crossing 56 northbound. Yeah, it's going to be East Eye. Eastbound 52nd. Back Northbound Eye. Crossing 51st. And Went into lawn, now we're continuing northbound. Continuing northbound on I Street 323. We're coming up on Portland, northbound Portland. Northbound Portland 324. 14 324. Looks like he has a front flat tire now. 324. Two male occupants. 324. Passing 44th, still northbound. Passing 44th, northbound, Portland, 324. Northbound, Portland, 325. He's slowing down here at about 40. He's on a rim. He's 40 on the rim, 325. Northbound, I-5. Northbound, I-5 from Portland, 325. Speeds are about 25. Well, looks like they're getting ready to bail here. They got the door opening. I think there's a 99 as well. Hey, they're throwing a bag out here. Okay, so where the bag is? Somewhere past the Puyallup overpass. Okay, so quarter mile, which direction? Passing 20th Street exit. 
He's only going about 10 miles an hour here. I think he's going to stop. Can someone grab the VIN off there? I think this is going to be the one off the hot sheet. You got the last five of 1920. Okay, we ID'd her. I got it here. Hey, okay. Okay. Hey, hey, I had no intention of taking the look. No, that was, I was fine. Slowing him down, and I had no intention. No, of that was fine. Here, well, you over. slowed him down to 40, and I was just yeah, starting just to come in there. I was coming in for the pit. Enough, you can pit him. We got last week. Who is it? Same guy we got last week. Oh, Gary in the, st in the stolen, car, the stolen car. car. Oh, the stolen car in the Chevron. Just a gal here. Yeah. What's going on tonight? No idea. He wouldn't stop. He wouldn't stop. Why would you want to jump out? Because he wouldn't stop the car. He crashed into a bunch of things, and I don't know why he was even running. Okay. They wouldn't let me get out. When did your did your airbags go off when yeah, you hit the I telephone pole? I couldn't breathe. I still can barely breathe. Is that when you hit the telephone pole? Yeah, the airbags went off. Smoking. I don't even know what it was. It happened fast. We hit a tree. We hit a fence. We hit a telephone. Yeah, you hit quite a few things. He wouldn't stop. You were in a stolen car with him last week. You got arrested. You went to jail, and now a week. So now you're back with them, and a week, a week later, you're in another stolen car. And you, so what's up with that? Well, um, good job. All right. Oh, he's got a warrant too, out of five. Oh, he does. You mean he what? That wasn't served on him last time. And we'll see. What we got in this canister. A lot of times they hide their bingo. There you go. And that's why they threw it. Looks like it's probably going to be decent amount. Decent amount of meth there. Uh, there's another little baggie, and we'll test that. That was a third one. That's what working graveyard in Pierce County is all about. Bad guy runs in a stolen car. Good guys get to chase him. Bad guys go to jail. I work with the sheriff's department right now. I grew up in Lakewood. My wife and I and daughter live here in Lakewood. So we know a lot of people here, and it's, it's nice to be able to uh, run into some people that you, you grew up with and that every once in a while and kind of make a positive impact on the community you grew up in. Uh, we got a call. A uh, neighbor hears some people out fighting. We're not sure exactly where it's at. Uh, when we get there, we'll try to get a hold of the the RP and, and see what he hears and see if we can figure out what's going on. It sounds like it could be a domestic going on in one of the, the apartments here. Mark, if there's a UP unit in area 5500 block 83rd Avenue West with a zone for a Polaroid. Were you the one who called? 
did. She did. Alice and Hanty. Charge from there. Okay. A large party. Information. Hi there. What's going on tonight? Not much. Are you Allison? No. Who are you? What's your name? My name's Hannah. Nothing Hannah. going on. Okay. Who else is here with you? Alice. Okay. Where's she at? I'm right here We're cooking dinner, actually. Cooking dinner? Yeah. Nothing's going on tonight? No, not really. Just tired, that's all. You guys aren't arguing or fighting or we anything? Were. We were arguing earlier, but that's over and done with. Okay. I'm just cooking a snack. We're we we got food. into an argument. She wanted pork chops. I wonder if she's for You know how it goes. It's okay. Well, how, how'd you get the blood all over you? Ran into the wall. Okay, hold on. Let her talk. That's fine. Yeah, I uh, ran into the bathroom wall. Step on out here so I can talk to you. Just, just you, real quick. Go ahead and close the door for me. Okay. How, how'd you get the blood? It's not from running into a wall. It is. It is? Mm -hmm. How, how'd you run into the wall? Number is 214-1377. That's it? There's not, there's not more to it? No. You didn't get hit or anything or cut? Let me see. Did your ankle got a cut on it? No. Can I see it real quick? Your, your ankle? Is your ankle cut or anything? No. You're not being very con convincing to me. I don't have to be. Where's she at? She's inside right now. She was wanted to do all the talking. So I told her. Okay. I got over a thousand dollars. She didn't tell me what she did with it. Okay. Hannah? You know what? What started this tonight is I went down the manager's apartment and I put down $35 for mm -hmm. credit check. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She just came in, she snatched my little Personally, she said, look, look, it's not much. It's like a thousand dollars. She's got it. I don't know where it's at. Okay. And she says, if you... Okay. She says, you leave me, I'll kill you. Okay. Did she hit you? No. So you still ran into the ran into the wall? Okay. Why don't you have a seat here? I'm going to go check on my partner here real quick. Keep my money. Christine went and bought me a pack. Did you threaten her at all tonight? No. You didn't threaten to kill her if you, if she left you? No. No? Hell no. Did you take her take her purse with the money in it? Uh, you give the, the purse is my there. money, and we'll call it square. You give him my money. Get my purse that you snagged out of my hand out of Scott and Christine's. Your purse is in Where there, is though. it, Alice? Where is it? Where oh. is it? What, your purse? Yeah, with all my money in it. Hold on. You, Can no. I have that beer? No. You go give me my money. Look what she does to this place on a regular basis. Does this not look like a place I work hard at? Mm hmm Hell yeah. So I give it to her? It's my money. Like my partner said, we're not going to tell you what you need to do. It's all of it here? All right, why don't you count it? If you're going to go on a three-day no, binge you, or somewhere, no, you go ahead. No, took this out of a purse that belongs to me. Where's the rest of it, Because that's my purse. Excuse me. I could bury you alive, but I So what's going to happen now? Oh, you couldn't do anything. Oh, what is going fine. to happen Get now? Okay. Person go Hello. Hold on. Party or what, what's going what's to happen when we leave? Uh, Are we going to have to come? Personally, you know what I want to happen? I snap. would like for one of you gentlemen to get on our telephone and call me a cab to find a safer place to be for the rest of the evening. Okay. Is that just a friend's house? Yes. I'm okay. really clumsy, and I don't want to run into another bathroom wall tonight. Okay. Well, whatever. Would there happen to be blood still on that bathroom wall from you running into it? No, there ain't nothing there. Oh, right look at this I place. Saw. I'm totally meticulous. I'm spotless. Look at this place. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> you know, just cold window, whatever. Gee, Alice might get a little bored this evening. No wonder. What? I'm going to sleep. Excuse me, I'm having a sandwich. Well, you might want to start by putting this place back together. Oh, I'm again. having a sandwich. That's it. You can go down to Danny. Wait right there. I'm, I'm terribly agoraphobic. I don't want to be waiting in some strange place with a lot of people. What about the manager's apartment? That'd be cool. Would that be all right? Well, that was where I was when she came in and stole my money. <laughs> okay. Alice, you better get your ID. 
I don't need don't no Don't get caught need. without that. Yeah, you might. I don't need it, but I'm telling you what. Okay, well, let, let's get going. Almost right? Come on, come on. If we're, we're going to go. There you go. Trash it. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, don't have to worry There's about your ID. it. Look at this place. Where's your ID? Gee, who are you going to use for a punching bag after I Oh, please. Get real. All right. Lock the door. Stay in here until she can leave, okay? Sorry about you guys. Does she, does she take any keys? I don't think so. Okay. Lock the door. Don't open it for her. Wait till she leaves. Wait till she leaves and then go down and get them. I'm sure you can wait that long. Yeah, have a good night. You too. Yeah. Sorry about the half of there. Oh, it's not a problem. That's what we're here for. It's very supportive of what I do. Uh, if she wasn't, I, I don't think our family could handle this job. Uh, there's some stresses of, of working graveyard shift especially when you have kids at home and she does a great job working around those those obstacles so that I can work graveyard she knows I, I enjoy it out here I choose to work graveyard and uh, I'm gonna turn on this white pickup truck here it's going pretty good and we got a couple white ones on our hot sheet we'll stop them up here No, looks like he well, looks like he might have bailed out. You should have someone run through your yard. What's he wearing? Just what's what's he look like? Short stubby white guy. I heard him crashing right through there. Three seven two, Kenny. Can you confirm the address? Seven one hundred second. Okay, it's gonna be this one right here. Receive them out with him. Papers on for 372 out with the subject at no. Stop. 172, Kenny, I'm out with the caller. Hi. Hi, he came running through here? I know, yes, he was running towards I heard him crash through your leaves. 259, Kenny, please. I saw, I, I don't know where he came from, but I saw this big dust storm coming through and he was running right to my front door. Uh -huh. I closed it and locked it immediately. Is he picking anything up? What's that? Oh, yeah. Not yet. Right. I really can't cut him loose. She's walking around. No. No, I understand that. I bet he, he probably went over one of these fences. Thanks. Well, we're going to take the keys of this so it doesn't go anywhere. We're going to swing through the neighborhood, see if we can find a short, stubby white guy walking around in a t-shirt. Probably the driver of the car. Seven, 28th Avenue. There's a around the corner. The driver jumped right out, and ran out of his shoes, and cut through a neighbor's yard. I didn't get a good look at him, but uh, the neighbor saw him. And so we're going to do a drive to the area here and see if we can get lucky. Short, stocky, white guy. Uh, looks like our canine unit cracked the guy. Hunter first where? Papers on until you get him in custody, 2256. All right, go ahead and stand up and turn around. Turn around. Yes, sir. Okay. What did I do? Just calm down. I'll let you know in just a second, all right? Okay. Gosh, you look like you've been running, cutting through the brush. No, sir. Just sleeping right here. Just sleeping? Yes, sir. 
Wow, it's not that hot out. Hey, you don't have any shoes. What happened to your shoes? Left at the bar. You left them at the bar? Yes, sir. Uh oh. Were you wearing sandals, maybe? No, sir. What type of shoes are you wearing? Uh, a pair of uh, boots. A pair of boots? Yes, sir. 372 can cancel the beep one in custody. What did I do? I think one in custody, 100 first pump setting. Can you call them? They can't hear my reportable. All right, jump on in here, partner. You got any ID on you anywhere? No ID. What's your name? Uh, Dave. Dave? How come you ran through this person's backyard? I, I just, I've been laying there about two hours, officer, from way home. I, okay, I, here's I, the thing, here's the thing. Do you know what obstructing the law enforcement officer is? No, you, no, listen, no, listen, listen to me. Stop your story. Do you understand what obstructing the law enforcement officer yes, is? Sir. Okay. It's when you hinder and delay an investigation. Officer, okay. And that is exactly what you're doing right now. I haven't done okay. anything. Okay. How many DUIs do you have? Pardon me? How many DUIs have you been for, arrested for? I've, I've had a couple. A right? couple. Okay. Well, and you didn't want one years. tonight, did you? I, I wasn't driving, officer. Okay. That's hey, sir, could you just come down here and... Okay. And that's the subject? Yeah, Saw so running right through the yard. Uh, I'm right past my truck to my yard. Not land. Not me, sir. I, it was. No, sir. You're just out here sweating to death. Yeah. Sweating to death, cuts all over your legs. Surprising, you don't have any shoes. You left them right back over there by your car. Go and step on out here for me. So you were a size nine, right? Okay, come on over here. Go and put, put that sandal on there. Wow. Shoe fits. Try, try, just leave, put it on. Okay, now let's try, try this one on right here. God, that's a perfect fit. Just like Cinderella. What size shoe do you wear? I wear size 12. Those wouldn't fit me. I'm going to go back to the car. You can keep them. Okay? You ever heard this, the term liar, liar, pants on fire? Have you heard that term? Yes, sir. 2000 Okay, I see a bike coming up to this intersection. It's probably going to be him. And here we go. 320 County Priority. 320. Southbound Mountain, 320. Over I-5, behind a motorcycle. In pursuit. In pursuit, crossing over I-5, Murray Road. Now we're going to be getting on southbound I-5. Oh. The reason for the pursuit is he fled from 405 earlier, but he never had a chance to catch up to him. I'm going about 100 now. He's pulling away from me pretty easy, passing the uh, Madigan exit. Traffic is almost non-existent. He's probably going about 120. behind him, but he's not losing me anymore. Approaching north 
He's flying. Somebody take the exit. I'm going to go to the other side, see if he crosses over. Back southbound five. He got back on. I'm now number one car again. Let Thurston County know. Pass an exit 114. I'm getting closer to him now. Passing exit 114, 328. He's turning on his blinker. Looks like he's going to pull over. Possibly going to pull over 329. Get your hands in the air! Your hands in the air. Get off the bike real slow. Go right to the ground. Right to the ground. On your face. All the way down. Get down on the ground. Can you go up and cuff? Spread your arms. Palms up. Hands up the side. Palms up. Go ahead and take it, Ross. Okay, Space only available if you're specifically requesting that assistance, and Thursday County has been advised, and they're still on the bus, so we'll give them a better update. We got one in custody, County. How was in custody? In custody, cancel the beeper. One in custody, cancel the beeper, 330. He slowed down. It looked like he was starting to lose it when we came around that last corner. He's probably doing 130. Give me my flashlight. Yeah, he started, when he came around that last corner, I saw his taillight started wobbling. I don't know if he lost his uh, gears or his brakes or something. He might have heated up his brakes too much. <laughs> Go ahead and rip that helmet off of him, Ross. I don't want to talk to you yet. Can you take off our glass after you take off the glass, please? You got it without using a knife? Duck your head. Can you take off my glass? What are you taking off for? You got a warrant or something? No, I have nothing. I believe I have a wallet right now in my uh, right side back pocket. Just decide to take off? No, there's a couple of reasons. You want to let me know about them, or? Yeah, you can let. Number one, I don't have a license for the bike. You don't have a license for the bike? Do it and do nothing for you to pull me over. You can take off. The way you're riding, I'm sure he's passing. It's a motorcycle endorsement. You want me to go ahead and get a tow for the? Yeah, go ahead and get one started. Uh, let me put him in somebody else's back seat right now. And your just now, exit 114. Pardon me? Uh, the bike. That's Is that why? Because my bike starts shaking from the UC. Yeah, it sure did. I saw your tail and I thought you were going to lose it. That's what I thought. I thought that's why I stopped it. So you burned up your brakes all the way and couldn't run anymore? Yeah, that's why I was like, screw this one. Well, that's a good plan, because you probably would have killed yourself if you would have wrecked at 130 miles an hour. Probably. <laughs> I have a twin brother who's an officer uh, in a nearby jurisdiction. And uh, I was getting kind of burned out on my other job, and his looked like a lot of fun, so I went ahead and tested for a few agencies and got on with Pierce County. 
And uh, once again, I feel, felt like I was pretty lucky to get on with that department. I think we're going to be out with the subject here. 48th Avenue, probably about the 22100 block. And somebody said they just saw him walking down here. Yeah, there he is. And we're going to be out with him. Hey, partner. You live around here? I'm, I'm homeless right now. I've been seeing up, up the road up here. Okay. Uh, well, somebody thinks you probably shouldn't be walking around their neighborhood. Do you have some ID on you real quick? I sure do. Okay. Keep your hands in your pockets for me, if you want. Okay. Go ahead and get your wallet. 365, the additional unit. You say you're homeless? At the moment. Okay. When you're living, where do you normally live? What area? Uh, my parents' address are right on there. That's your parents? Yes, sir. Okay. They won't let you stay there? I haven't been able to get a hold of them yet. Okay. Kind of where where are you coming from that you're staying here now? Down there where the, uh, off the 46 where the, the trees are down there, you know? Oh, so you been living outside? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, no law against that. Well, so. I'm real proud of it, though. Yeah, well, no problem. Sixteen sixty six. Sound like your date of birth? Yes, it. Okay. How come you lost your license? They catch you driving or something with uh, tickets or? I didn't pay a ticket. Really? Okay. All right. Do you have any current warrants or anything? As far as I'm aware of, I do have some there. Okay. I'm gonna check real quick. Okay. For DWL three. Okay. So it's a traffic warrant. That's it. You think? Um, I think I missed the court date too. I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to go. Okay. We'll find out. Okay. Four thirteen records. Give me drivers and wants on a white male. Ida Sam, Ocean Nora. First of John, common. Do you have any weapons or anything on you, John? No weapons, no. No weapons? Okay. Can I check real quick while yeah. we're talking? I got a bunch of junk in my pockets here. Okay. Go ahead and turn around. Let me just check real quick. Okay. What kind of junk are we talking about here? Not good oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Drugs or nothing, but... Like, what kind of stuff are we talking about here? Things I probably shouldn't carry around. It might be careful to poke yourself. Okay, you got some needles in there? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. I'm going to stop right now. Go ahead and put your hands on your back. You're not under arrest yet, you understand? Yes, sir. But I'm going to just do this for my own safety while I'm checking for the needles. Okay. You know where you think the needles are? Are they in this or They're which pocket? pocket right here. Okay, thanks for telling me. I appreciate that. You, I really appreciate that. Okay. Just calling you unreadable. What do you use those needles for? You using use math or anything? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call you, What's that? I'm say. Okay. I mean, again, it's not a crime to tell me that you're using it. Okay. You think they're in this pocket? Um, there should be a black case and a uh, sock for it. Okay. Seventeen okay. fifty-six. Everything I find, I'm just gonna take it, put it down on the ground. Okay. Understand. Right here. Carriage case the unit four thirteen. Go ahead. A possible misdemeanor warrant out of PD Sumner on seventeen fifty-seven. White male, he is 6'1", 160, blue and brown. Driving while license suspended third, 500 bail. His status is suspended third, FTA unpaid tickets. It expired in 88, last five of 344, Roy William. Receive, and they uh, won't take him on that warrant, will they? Would have to call. I've been in contact with okay. him. Okay, uh, I guess disregard on that for now. 1957. What are they? these? Are rocks in your pocket? Is that what? Yes. Are? Okay. I'm just curious why you have got rocks in your pocket. Uh, I, I so. kind of collect them. Okay. You know, nothing else to do during the day. Okay. They don't have any significance other than they're just rocks. Um, or anything. To me, they do. Yeah. Well, I mean, other than. Value. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm just going to set them down here. Okay. Is this where the needles might be in here? You think? Yes, sir. Okay. I meant to throw them away, but I just didn't want to leave them laying around somewhere, you know? Okay. I'm trying to quit. I'm going to treatment and all. Oh, yeah? Okay. 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 Pockets there. A bunch of garbage. Okay. Oh, this isn't even a duffel. Somebody told me you had a duffel. So this is your just your jacket. Oh, okay. They'll be in that pocket there, sir. Okay. Which one? Uh, I think the one you're right there. Do you feel it? No, I sure don't. Oh, maybe it's gone. Good Lord. You really are a rock collector. Yeah, well, some of them are really cool. Okay. This? That's it. Yes, sir. Okay. 
Any of them loaded or anything? Are they all clean or what? As far as I know, they're all clean. Okay. Haven't been used. Okay. There's no dope in your jacket or anything? Oh, you can go ahead and look. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Pretty much looking at the only dope here, sir. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. I don't want to leave my garbage anywhere, you know. Get well, I appreciate that, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to cut you loose. Yeah, I sure can. Uh, but I'm, what I need to get from you, though, is the fact you're going to kind of leave this area. I am leaving right now as we speak. As okay. As I'm free, I'm gone. But you understand, what I want to do is just avoid anybody calling me out here to... If it was my neighborhood, I'd expect you to do the same thing, sir. Okay. People ought to be glad you're okay. around. Okay. Why do you now... you got to tell me, why do you like to collect rocks? Well, what is it about them? That, I mean, you obviously you like them because you got all... There's I don't know, of them here. different types of them. You know, there's uh, what they call fire rocks and... Okay. You know, hematite and all kinds of stuff in there, you know. You do old... Agate and whatnot. Okay. Know, I just like them because I like them, not because they're anything special. Okay. Know? All right. I don't know if you're like, you know, a professional rock collector or a rock hound. I aspire or... to be someday. You know? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. How old are you? <laughs> Too old to be trying to do stuff, I guess. <laughs> uh, well, no, I'm not saying that, but, you know, you might want to get started on it soon yeah. before you run out of time. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, why don't you, again, why don't you go ahead and take off out of here. Thank you again. I'll get more calls. Off for gold. Okay. You bet. Have a good day. 100 and 600. Okay. Well, again, here's a typical meth user, methamphetamine user. He's homeless, doesn't have a job, and just kind of looking for a place to stay. And uh, kind of sad, really. He seems like a decent guy, but just can't beat the drugs. I grew up here locally in the Tacoma area, so it's kind of nice. I run into a lot of people that, that I went to school with. You know, I went to the movies around here as a kid and rode my bike around. So it's kind of nice to be able to keep it in my neighborhood. Um, try to keep your neighborhood safe kind of thing. All right, Robert. Well, we just a few minutes ago had a theft from a vehicle. Uh, the suspect vehicle was a gray minivan with three females in it. And it took off from the scene. Uh, since we're so close, we're doing a quick area check to see if we can't come up with a vehicle. I know of a couple car prowlers in the area, and I'm kind of checking their house. Like that one right there is a minivan. Three twenty county. Three twenty. West Thorn and Union, right behind the uh, yellow restaurant here. It's a silvery blue minivan, three females. Back in the vehicle. Back in the vehicle. Three twenty county. What was taken? Come Driver, hop out of the vehicle. Put out the cigarette. Put hands on the vehicle. Do you have any weapons on you? Anything sharp? Anything that's going to poke me, stick me? Nope. Nothing at all? Do nope. you have any ID on you? No. You have no ID on you? Nope. Do you have ID? Yeah. <laughs> Vehicle staying back clear to a night to 89 Fort Arrow Star. Can I ask what I did? You're being detained. You're the suspect of a theft from a vehicle. Fort Arrow Star. 800 Commercial Avenue. And that's what it's on. Can we get a uh, description of what was taken? I'm working on it. Oh my God. Can I ask you for what? For vehicle prowl. I, I didn't do anything. Turn around, face the car. Well, he said the girl with the green hair, and you know what? Look, okay, I'm going to tell you the truth. There's not many girls with green hair, and that's pretty darn green. Okay, look, I'm going to tell you the okay. truth. This is your chance, okay? Okay. No, Give me the truth. I know who you are. Okay, I did not do it. Who did it? It was Christy. Okay, where's she at? She's the one that has the dyed burgundy hair. She had the dyed burgundy hair? What did she do? She was like, I was about to back up because I drove from the store. Uh-huh. I, I seen you guys pass. Okay. Pulling in here. <laughs> and um, she was like, 
Hold on a second, it looks like I hop out real quick. She hopped out in the shop right back in. She had this thing of CDs. Where's think. the thing of CDs? Uh, it should be in the van. In the van where? Did she hide them somewhere? Or? She might have. You're next. Don't pick them up. Leave them there. Hands on the vehicle. I'll explain in a minute. You're being detained right now. You're suspect in a theft from vehicle. If that was you, it should be a case of 30 CD. Rusi, the victim's come here and he's already identified these people as the ones who did it. You want to talk to me a little bit about what happened tonight? You didn't tell your friend that was driving to stop the sec, hop out and grab the CDs from his truck? No, they were sitting right by the, by the door of his truck. So you grabbed them by the door of his truck? No, they were, they were on, the, on the ground. I picked them up. I said, oh. Okay, so you picked them up. Where are they at? What? In the van. In the van. So he dropped him out of his truck and you didn't realize that, so you just we're, saw him on the coming, ground and we're picked him up? Out. There's, this, there's this guy standing there, and then we, see we, got, we come over there, he walks over by the phones, and he leaves. And then he, he left us up the six CDs there. Okay, so you picked him up. Well, yeah, and I picked him up. Okay, where'd you put him in the van? He took off. Where'd you put him in the van? The, where'd you put him in the van? Uh, underneath the seat. Pardon me? Underneath the back seat. Underneath the back seat? There was the one in my backpack. They left some CDs on the floorboards in there. That's why I knew. I, I some of them are theirs. Yeah, no, all mine are in there. My kid, or anything. Yeah, there's my kid rock seat. Yeah, mine's in there. Everything in there is mine. They didn't. They wouldn't have got nothing for nothing. Anything else? No, there's my Metallica. Where were they in your car? They were sitting right on my seat. Was there? I just got off my duty. I slipped it. There was no way they could have fell on I the ground outside your truck. Quarters. They were, on that, the no, they were on that seat because I got out of this door. There's they no were, way they could have fell on the ground? No, they were sitting just like that with my backpack and everything. And I got out of this door, and there was a girl also sitting in the parking lot. When I came out, she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I'm, like, I'm missing stuff out of my truck. Like, oh, yeah, the three that were just there. I'm going to book you on the theft second for the theft of the CDs, okay? I'm going to write in the report your side of the story and your friend's side. Okay, and you can explain to the judge and the prosecutor what was going on, okay? But I do have to book you tonight. I'm sorry about that. What's the second degree? What is it? It's just because of the amount. It means over $250. Is it a felony? Uh, yes, it is. How do I get to black and I have a big question to help? Pardon me? Do you have a big question to help? I don't know where her boyfriend is. He's in the house. He's in the house? He's the one who was dead in the window. Don't cry, Christina. She's ready to go. I'm gonna take her down. Thanks, man. Apparently they were. Thanks for your help. At least you guys come forward and you're honest about what happened, and I appreciate that. And I'm gonna cut you guys out of here. I'm gonna run it, make sure everything's kosher with the van. If everything's good, you can get out of here. Not on the hot list no more. Okay. When was last month? I was stolen. Okay, now I can go get my cigarettes. Good night, ladies. Good night, thank you. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get 2514, 10 transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3.